So what? Um, okay, so we're back, and uh, this is going to be a couple of videos because this is really long. Because not only am I doing the cooking and helping my son learn. Yeah, but he missed a few bloopers. Yeah, he missed a few bloopers. Hit him dropping his nuts all over my floor and him talking about some cougar ray work. So let's hear it. Put it down on the stove. We're just uh, doing the other half of the cabbage head right now. There's some water. There's some water. Oh, 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 oh. Make sure you put the lid on. Um, so, yeah. And we started with our insides for the cabbage rolls. I'm going to put some cream cheese in that. It's going to be so good. And my son doesn't know it yet, but he's leaving some of this here for us. Because if, if I'm helping him do all that stuff, then I'm going to taste, I'm going to get some of the spoils too. See, this is my little processor. And for cabbage rolls, you want your stuff in the filling to be teeny tiny like this. If it's too chunky, it's just, it'll just fall apart. It's not, uh, you know, it's not rocket science. Some people will use eggs in their, in their cabbage rolls. I don't. Um, because I feel like I've got enough stuff in here and I'm putting the, the cream cheese in here so it'll all hold together. Anyways, here, Colin. Cream cheese for the It's going to be for the cabbage rolls. You can put a little bit in your chili, too. No. If you want to make... Are we making cream sauce with the bechamel? Because I can show you how to do that. Yeah. Here. That's um, why I brought the cream cheese. This stuff can all go what in. What am I doing with this? Uh, you can throw it in your chili. It's not going to hurt anything. I'm ch roughly chopping the rest of the celery to go in the chili. Um, I like um, my vegetables not to be mush when they're in my food. That's why I don't eat canned food. Because I find that the vegetables... In the chili? Yeah. Well, this is the last of it. I'll just get a full. Well, it'll get full. It'll it'll uh, boil down as it goes. Anyways, as I was saying, I like there to be a bit of bite to my food. I don't like to have my vegetables mush um, cooked all of the nutrients out of it. As far as I'm concerned, if it's mush. Um, so. Pardon? That chili is just about done. You're just going to put this know, in here. Um, we're going to put the cabbage rolls in. Anyways, so, as I was saying, um, this is how I chop this up. And I always put the vegetables in, like, near the end right. of the cooking. Just uh, when you're when you're stirring it, stir from the outside in, and try to scrape the bottom, um, so that the, the vegetables don't get overcooked. Um, I like them cooked, but not overcooked. I want them to still have some bite to it, as I said. Anyways, so we're gonna put together the cabbage rolls, and then I'm gonna show Colin how to put together the bechamel sauce. We may not get to the herb butter today, so. Uh, we can do it in another in another video because Colin is going to start trying to come uh, for Wednesdays and, and Fridays when his daughter has her visits. Okay, come Wednesdays. Oh. We're always okay, sorry, not Wednesdays, um, just Fridays. And some days during the week when I come over to my house. Yeah. Once he moves into his own place, it'll be a little easier because I we you know. It's just that I live on a third floor walk up and it's hard. It's like six little flights of stairs and he's got to bring his daughter and all her stuff upstairs with him. And then we've got to stop and start and stop and start to go and make sure she's okay. Because my boyfriend is not kid friendly or the kids love him. He is so. But he's terrified of holding them or doing anything you know, technical with them. Oh, uh, you okay? I was just trying not to make it smash. What happened? Did you split off? Oh, I was trying to wipe it off, so I got stuff on it. Oh. So I kind of knocked it off. Uh, Oops. <laughs> like I said, that pot doesn't have a lid Look to for it. real. Yeah, that's going to be in the loopers. I missed uh, me blowing snot, though. <laughs> Nobody wants to see you blowing snot. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm just washing my hands so that, and I do that like 20 times in the course of making anything, especially when I'm using meat. And I try to keep all my dishes semi-washed. If I'm reusing it, like my, my blades and stuff, I will rinse them, but... So, just uh, cleaning some space and we're going to put together our chemicals. You can uh, preheat that oven now to 400. Okay. I didn't realize that these pans were stuck together. There's two of them. Pardon me, people. So this is how I do the power drills, Colin. Colin Raymond. I'm going to take a break. You gonna take a break? Yeah, I was going to. Yeah. Well, let's just. Uh, how long? How long do you have? Okay, so Colin's taking a break because he's a bad smoker. And smokers are bad. Not Anyways, you're not a good one. I've been here since about two thirty. Watch your language, it's, we're recording. Anyways, I was just showing him that I smeared my cream cheese in the little cabbage leaf. And you take about, uh, well, about a meatball size, if you've made meatballs before, it's about the size of meat. You stick it right in the middle, like this. And then... Yeah, you don't put hair in your food. And then you take the leaf. Uh oh, my battery's dying. Okay, so you take the leaf like this and you roll it like this. And then sit it like that. Simple. And then you do a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of, um, rows because they're not going to be huge ones right like because you're feeding people cabbage rolls it's not going to be their whole diet it's just going to be a side dish kind of thing it can be the main dish but normally if i've got a leaf this big i will fold it like this so that it it rolls properly so and do another one A meatball, about that much meat in the center. Fold it over like this and roll it. Put it this side down. And you just continue on like that. Okay, I'm going to get this started and then I will charge my tablet and I will do the after. Um, this, is, this is the before. I'll do the after. And then you'll see, you'll see everything. All right. We'll uh, we'll be back. Okay. So that's what he does when he's waiting for his stuff to cook. His uh, my son Collins chili. Oh, look at that. Nom nom nom. And that look good. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna turn the light on. You see that better? Oh, that look good. And then we've got his cabbage rolls in. In the oven there. Colin, you gonna come check them? They smell like they're almost cooked. And then I'm making a different sort of cabbage. It's like a cabbage casserole underneath here. This is a layer of cabbage. And then there's meat and cream cheese. And then this is the bechamel sauce that I showed Colin to make. And I'm gonna put more cabbage on, a little bit more cream cheese, and some chili on top. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. And, oh, look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Smells good. Smells good, man. Off to go. It's still got a little ways to go yet. Put the lid back on. All right. That's everything from us. Say goodbye to YouTube, Colin. Peace out, guys. Say goodbye, Christopher. Bye. All right. That's me. And my kid and my boyfriend and uh, have a great day, blessed be.